I tell you, my little MySpace world of authenticity has been fucked. It's the, uh, the person inside. And here's to you, Frank. Now, the second was a little bit more of a shock. Because I put out a tribute blog to this blogger when they allegedly got deleted. I don't think they got deleted. I think they deleted themselves in order to create um, sympathy. And that's what turned the corner for me. Mm. I'm talking about Kendalicious. Here was a... Well, first of all, and first and foremost, she was attractive. An attractive woman. Well, I mean, that was the baseline. Hot. And, um, but an avid commenter. And a good, not a great, but a good blogger in terms of the blogs that she put out. She followed the formula well. She put out blogs that people would laugh at or be interested in or, by st or be stimulated by. This is MySpace, Sex Cells. And uh, sexy girl putting out interesting blogs. Yeah, she got some attention. Well, apparently, I mean, completely divergent. I had no idea any of this was going on. But at the same time as um, I was putting out a blog about, oh my God, Ken Delicious got deleted, or you know, she was. Uh, there's a top blogger, more top than I, whatever. I don't subscribe to his blogs. We don't have many readers in common, but I've heard his name. Maybe he's heard mine by the name of Super Jabs. Well, um, Super Jabs discovered something about Kendalicious by asking, by requesting a picture of her. Here's the blog. I'm going to put the title in right here. Definitely check this out. I'll include the link. Point being is that through some deductive reasoning and calling people on their lies, he discovered that uh, Kendalicious is not, in fact, the person who's in the pictures that she says she is. She's not the person. And um, uh, you can check that blog out for, to see the uh, physical evidence of that uh, lie. And after I read this, I was forced to think to myself, okay, what are the consequences of lying? If you lie about the very basis of who you are. Well, no, I didn't go that far. I thought, all right, so if these very same comments and blogs were put out by a girl who was, you know, 5'1", 250, as opposed to, you know, 5'10", 110, um, well, not 5'10", 110, but anyway, but uh, in terms of the relative physical attractiveness, and you can't lie about that, I'm not being superficial, there is such a thing as physical attractiveness in this universe. Would I have been as interested? Would I have been as intrigued? Would I have put out a tribute blog to this girl when her blog got deleted? It did not get deleted. And she accomplished exactly what she wanted to, which was to get people like me to so be so outraged as to bring attention to her, which is what I did, exactly. Anyway, I've had a couple days to think about this. But immediately after I read this, I went, you know what? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I actually felt very, very shallow for thinking that if these same blogs and comments had come out from someone who was not as attractive, would I have put out a tribute blog? No, probably not. Do I have any hope of hooking up with Ken Delicious? No. But does that... Um, bias transfer even though there's no particular instant or desire to be with that person I mean, well, but possibility of being with that person physically interestingly it does and I discovered this and I felt very very bad I felt very very superficial I felt very um, anyway this is a long story I'll get to the end. It gets better and better. I'll put it that way. So I was sitting in this hotel room that I'm in right now with my sister, who's gone now. But we were sharing this room. And I told her all about it. And I went and I read the blog by Super Jabs. Didn't read any of the comments. Just read the blog. And I told her about it. 
And that made me think, and I went, you know what? It doesn't matter what she looks like. She's still my friend. She still comments on my blogs. She still has, she still, she still pays attention to me, and she is worth paying attention to. Well, then I read the first comment, which was, guess what? I am not even a woman. Super jabs, I want you to love me for, no. Super jabs, I am going to be the woman who you want me to be. I want you to be, no, um, anyway, go check out his comments. Right. No, it was, it's in this blog. It's first, maybe someone's blogged. Point being, it was this Kindalicious person, uh, revealed themselves as actually being a pre-op transgendered person and is a beautiful woman trapped inside of a man's body. Okay, well, after just saying to myself, it doesn't matter what this person looks like, it doesn't matter what their gender identification is either. And so I wrote Kendallicious a note, a very heartfelt note, which I'll probably include in this blog, saying, you're still my friend. At least at that point, in the rush of the moment, now, I've had a few days to think about it. Well, two things happened. First of all, she never got that note because whoever created that profile that said, "I still love you" was probably e was probably um, either Super Jabs himself or one of his friends because I soon afterwards got a note saying, "Ha ha 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 ha." Anyway, my altruism, my goodness, was not heard. And then I thought about it, and I realized anybody who would go to that length to deceive, anybody who would go to that length to, um, and this is what did it, was that she was not deleted for writing a blog about dildos. Fuck no. She was deleted because she deleted herself to draw attention to herself. And I don't have any connection with super jabs. But yet, here she was, a member of my blog, and, and you knew her. She was my number 11 in my top 10 bloggers. Number 11, she was like right there. Like I felt guilty more than any other blogger about not putting her on that list was her. And all for nothing? For Hecuba. What's Hecuba to him or he to Hecuba that he should weep for her? What would he do had he the cue and motive for passion that I have? He would drown the stage with tears and cleave the general here with horrid speech, make mad the guilty and appall the free, confound the ignorant, amaze indeed the very faculties of eyes and ears, yet I... I'm sorry, a little Shakespeare interlude. Point being is that, Kenalicious, if you ever see this, I will never believe a word you say. And so... Friendship is pointless. Sad, but it's taken me a while to realize that. The friendship that we had, I valued. But when the friendship that you have with someone is based entirely, well, not entirely, but 90% on a lie, and not the way you looked, but the way you manipulated me and others into thinking that you do, that MySpace deleted your profile when you deleted it yourself. That I can't. That is overt manipulation, not passive manipulation. If you pretend to be someone and someone else believes it, well, that's their fault. If you do something to make someone else believe you are who you say you are, well, as the king of reality, MySpace, I say that's wrong. Good night.